Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading. Gonna do the update for the large grow tent. So let me get the camera over here. I'll show you. Everything's pretty much the same as it was last week. I was talking about ordering the uh, the new hanging wall for the plants over here, but I wanted to wait until Black Friday on uh, Amazon to see if they happen to have the uh, bag set up that I had and wanted to get on sale, as well as maybe an LED light, and I didn't see any of those go on sale. So I guess this week's gonna be uh, ordering that. And then I kind of left the basil to just continue to grow a little bit down there. And we're going to dehydrate that and put it in our dehydrator. So Paula can just kind of take that and save it away. Uh, tomatoes seem to be going along really well. You can see there's some more uh, little red ones back there. I need a harvest. And then we've got a lot of the uh, indigo rose. They seem to be really taking off and sending out quite a few, uh, a lot of fruit set coming on. There's a lot that are turning. You can see back there, there's some, some, you know, red ones. And down over here, and then we've got, of course, you know, the ones down here. There's some red ones down there. So everything seems to be going along really nice with that. And then we've got the uh, poinsettia, of course, because it's, you know, happy-go-lucky uh, guy in here. He's really coming along for the uh, Christmas season. <laughs> uh, then we've got uh, our herbs. You know, you've got the, the Mexican herbs over there. We've got the cilantro here. It looks like there's a little bit of standing water in that one there. I may have to dial back the, uh, the watering in those two. And then we've got the uh, parsley. We've got our garlic chives. And then we've got our basil. Some of these front basil, you know, when I turn that watering off, you'll notice this, uh, this is that uh, cinnamon basil. And uh, it's really starting to take off these front ones since I uh, cut the water back so. And I've noticed that, you know, when I moved the nozzle from this side back into there, you can see this is starting to grow pretty nice here. And this light here gives it the, the light for that one there. And then, you know, up here, the one we moved up, it's given a little bit of light down over to this side. So I'm thinking that I may need to, to move these out and put them over to another area where they get a little bit better light. Or, of course, you know, if Paula lets me, I could always buy another LED light. And that wouldn't be, you know, such a bad thing. But, uh, you know, this one here has got a lot of fruit set, you'll notice. It still does have the, you know, the leaves. I can see some new leaves coming on, some new growth. But, uh, you can see uh, that burned leaves, they're kind of having to work their way out. And I did, inside this tent, uh, add compost tea to all of the big grow bags for the tomatoes. So this last week I added the compost tea dosage. So we should see the, uh, the leaves start to really green up in a lot of these cases because of the, uh, the high nutrient uh, dump that it's gonna be getting. But you can see up here, these tomatoes have really just taken over the back of the tent. And there's a lot of fruit set now. You can see there's you know quite a bit of new fruit set. And so I'm excited to see that. That would mean that we're going to have a lot of tomatoes coming into uh, January and February and even into March that are flowering now. So that's always a good thing because I love these tomatoes. Other than that, the tent's going along pretty nice. Uh, the automated watering seems to be doing well. Uh, haven't had any leaks or anything where valves aren't shutting off or any of that. So I'm pretty pleased. Okay, well, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading and uh, trying to keep these updates. And then when we get the new uh, grow bag tent, that'll be kind of an exciting thing to see and see how that actually works. But uh, we're kind of in the doldrums of uh, winter and it's hard to come up with new content when you look outside and it's raining every day. I mean, our backyard, I basically chopped and dropped all the tomato plants and I'm gonna probably make another video I'll post and uh, you guys can kind of see what the backyard looks like at this point. But uh, everything's kind of gone to sleep and is, uh, you know, we're in the soggy northwest, so there's not a lot to do outdoors unless you like to go snow skiing for gardening-wise at this point. But uh, I try to, try to keep myself busy with inside projects. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. This has been Brian. Bye.